Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the California Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about suggestions of waste in government and lack of accountability. My guest is Mamie Walters, a member of the State Senate from Irvine. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. As you know, the, there have been problems in state agencies, uh, sort of monthly almost, coming out, Department of uh, Parks and Recreation, hiding some money for a number of years, Cal Fire, for example. Uh, the latest, I guess the latest one is the Bay Bridge which is scheduled to reopen finally, at least the new span is scheduled to reopen after 10 years of construction on Labor Day. And I know you and some of your colleagues are pretty upset at uh, a part of the celebration for its opening. Yeah, my understanding is that they're gonna have a party and it's gonna be $11 million, which 5.6 million of that is from taxpayer money. And it just doesn't make sense. Um, you've got a bridge that's taken 10 years to rebuild. It costs an extra $5.5 .5 billion than originally estimated. And now they have money left over and they want to use taxpayer dollars to have a party? I don't understand it. So what, if besides talking about it and trying to make a stink, uh, what can you do about it? Well, unfortunately, um, it's the, the agency has the ability to spend the money, they oversee the money, but I think we need to make people aware that taxpayer dollars are, are being wasted and that the people who live in that area who are now paying up to $6 on tolls um, should be told what's happening and, and should, you know, tell them they don't want it to happen like this. Now, this is on top of a recent development where uh, uh, several million dollars were going to go to a public affairs or a PR firm to publicize all of this and I think after the public stink that was uh, rejected by the governor. Yes, that's my understanding. Um, that was going to be, like you said, several millions of dollars to publicize the party. Uh, that again would have been used taxpayer money and I think sometimes in order to really affect change it's your local people that have to stand up and say, you know what, enough is enough and we're not going to stand by and let you continue to waste our taxpayers money like this. I was reading where a bridge official has uh, said that the spending of this money is important because a lot of it, the taxpayer part of it, I mean, goes toward uh, buses and barricades and uh, security and um, uh, lavatories and things mm -hmm. like that. And you need all of that because you're going to have a huge crush there anyway. And they, they recall what happened when the Golden Gate Bridge anniversary uh, a few years ago, and they had 800,000 people you know, pouring onto the bridge. And so they sort of needed that in case there's a huge crowd like that. Well they can always open the bridge on a Monday morning when you have rush hour traffic and you don't need to open it on a day on Labor Day weekend where, where people are going to be out. I mean you don't have to have the celebration like that. They can just open the bridge, have cars uh, pass over it and be done with it. Why the big celebration? Why Why is it that they want to say, hey listen, it's been 10 years in the making, we're 5.5 .5 billion dollars over original costs and we're going to celebrate this? That's not celebration, especially in these economic times. Times. After the last election when the Republicans really took a beating in California, uh, fewer than one-third of the membership in, in the legislature, a lot of discussion about the, with the Republican role moving forward. And it seems to me that you've taken up the, the battle of trying to uh, increase accountability and, uh, and, and point out waste in government. We need to. We need to hold the majority party accountable for everything that's happening. As you mentioned, they have a super majority in both the Assembly and the Senate now. And basically, they are controlling the agenda uh, as we move forward. So we have to play defense. We have to watch what they're doing and make sure there's transparency. All right. Well, we're out of time. But Senator Mimi Walters, thank you very much for coming by talking about uh, this issue. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.